that time again, time for my weekly grocery haul. So this is what I got this week. I had some other ideas of things I wanted to cook, but as you can hear maybe from the sound of my voice, I got sick, so I'm not feeling super great, so I'm gonna stick to what's easy and what I've been kind of doing on repeat. But I'll change it up a little bit, but let me show you what I got. So starting off with my iced coffee, I've got the Nitro Cold Brew, and I've already got the Premier Protein. I order those on Amazon, either Amazon or Walmart delivery. So that's what I have right there, my, my two weekly boxes. For the first meal, we'll get the usual out of the way. I've got my chicken breasts. I'm gonna make salsa chicken. So I've got the salsa right here. I didn't have it last week because I had eaten some out of the freezer and I didn't make another batch. So I'm excited to get back to it. Uh, it was nice to have a break, but it's just so convenient, especially on a week like this week when I'm not feeling great. I'm just gonna put this in the slow cooker. Literally, it'll take five minutes, it'll be ready. So that's the only meat that I got. Moving on, got lots of veggies. So I have the fish from my butcher box. I'm gonna pull some fish fillets out and defrost them and then cook them, probably in the air fryer. And then I've got these organic butternut squash. I think you forgot my onion. Oh well, I'll have to go in to the store tomorrow and get an onion. But I got the butternut squash and I got some zucchini. I'm gonna cut the zucchini up with the butternut squash and kind of have that as a vegetable on the side. I also got asparagus. I've really been enjoying the asparagus lately, so I may put some of that in there as well. So I'll have that with my fish as kind of a low carb meal or a meal where the carbs come exclusively from vegetables. I bought stuff to go along with my salads. I do have some greens left. I didn't use them all up last week, so I have enough to make some more salads. I've got the tomatoes. I did buy more tomatoes so that I'll have some fresh, but I think I still have some in the fridge from the last batch, so I should be good to go with tomatoes. I've got the cucumbers all ready. If they're not good, then I'll, I'll run into Safeway tomorrow and pick up some fresh ones along with my onion that I think was forgotten in the order. And this lemon is for the salad as well. I use olive oil and lemon as my dressing. So this is what I'll do for that. And I think that's all I got for my salads. I've got avocado as usual. I'll either put this on my sandwiches or I'll put them in the salsa chicken. And they're bigger this time. I usually get the smaller ones, but maybe they were out. This is what I got. It's fine. So I'll just split it. Usually I eat the whole avocado, but when they're big like this, I usually split it in half. Excuse my nails. I went and had my nails done with a friend a few weeks ago, and I, <laughs> I don't know how to get that gel paint off, but it'll just be like this for a little while. <laughs> anyway, so I've got the bigger avocados. I'll cut them in half, and then I'll just, they'll last a little longer. Looking now towards the carbs, I've got some bread. They didn't have my normal multi-grain. They just have the honey whole wheat and that's fine. I don't think it has a lot more sugar than the other one, so it's fine. It's still got the same amount of carbs. So it's fine and it'll be a nice change from what I'm used to. And I got some more of these. I'm back on the carb balance tortillas. I just love these, they're just good with eggs. There's just so many ways you can eat them. And I got this to go along with my sandwiches. So we're gonna try the air fried kettle cooked. Um, haven't tried these yet. We'll see how they are. I ordered my normal Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. They didn't have any, he substituted this, the cream soda flavor. So you know, it's still zero sugar. I'm gonna give it a try. I think it might be something that I like. If not, I'll take them to work and they'll be drunk. <laughs> Somebody will drink them, but I did wanna try these anyway, so this will be a nice change. And they'll last a while. I don't normally get the 12 pack of drinks. And I got my Sprite as usual. So that's what I got this week. Splash is checking it out. Being nosy, nosy rosy. We've got Mr. Casper relaxing under the table. That's his favorite spot. <laughs> Casper. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away. I may go ahead later tonight, if I'm up late enough, put the crock pot going around 11 or midnight and then that'll cook all night and then it'll be ready in the morning and I can just kind of put it away 
Or if I don't do that, if I go to bed sooner since I'm not feeling great, I'll just do it later tomorrow. Yep, yep. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see how I put all this together and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm gonna do a quick second haul from Sprout since I was missing a few things. I went ahead and ordered it from there. I got these pita chips. They didn't have the pita crackers that I wanted. So I got the pita chips and I'm gonna use these to help me eat the hummus that I bought last week. I got some more tomatoes because I just wanted to try this variety. Got the onion that was missing. I also realized I'd forgotten to add olive oil and I'm getting low and that's what I like to use for my salad dressing. So got some olive oil. I got this. I saw this on a TikTok and it just made me want to try it. So we'll see. Oh, I guess I ordered a couple of onions. <laughs> I'll put them in the fridge and then that way I won't have to worry about them not being there. So, and I did order salmon. I know I have the butcher box salmon, but I'm not feeling well. As you can hear in my voice, I'm still kind of sick and I just want it to be easy. I don't want to have to deal with taking anything out and defrosting it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this today and have that as my fish this week. And I got two cucumbers. I have one in the fridge, but it's starting to feel kind of soft, so this is good for my salads. There's one more thing in there. Oh, I picked up this salsa. I'll save it for next week for my salsa chicken. And it's just something different, something different to try. I hadn't seen this brand before. Looks good. And I believe that is everything. So. This is the second haul when you don't remember everything for the first haul. <laughs> and I've got something on in the air fryer and I'll show you what I make today. I'm chop up my onion. This is the sweet onion. I normally get the yellow onions because they're cheaper, but I remember really liking these when I would get them. And I haven't got them in a while. So we're gonna see if there's a difference with the sweet onions. This is what I got out of it. I'm going to add it with the butternut squash and then I'll have that with the fish once I do cook the fish. All right, I've got my salmon. I've cut it into four. It was two slices of salmon. I cut it into four because they were pretty big. So that'll be my salmon. I'm gonna put this in the oven. It says cook for 25 to 30 minutes and we'll see. All right, here's the four pieces. It is way more spicy than I thought, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it my best shot to eat it. Next time I won't buy this spicy variety. I'll just buy the regular butter or lemon flavor one but it's good it came out nice texture you can see that one it's nice and flaky and yeah so i've got four servings of salmon if you like spicy this is the one to get the island jerk salmon from sprouts <laughs> but <clears throat> it'll for sure clear my sinuses <laughs> all right here they are all put together i've got salmon, butternut squash, onion, and asparagus. We got four, so I've got the next four days. 
one meal for the next four days is going to be tough eating it. It's so spicy, but I think I'll get through it. I've got some of the salad prepared. I've got the chicken in the air fryer. I got my greens in there. I've got my lemon. I've got some pumpkin seeds. I've got the olive oil with the Tony's Italian seasoning and parsley. I've got cucumbers and tomatoes and I am waiting on the chicken. And then I'll have one whole salad. So it's all ready to go. I added the chicken right there. Let me go ahead and put it together. And we have salad. All right, I'm gonna try something I've never done before. I've got this can of garbanzo beans. I'm gonna try to make those crispy garbanzo beans in the air fryer. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see if this works. We're gonna spread them in there. I'm gonna put a little more olive oil. And I'm gonna add some Tony's. I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer, see how they do. So this is what I got out of it. They're nice and crispy. I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna also leave some out just to see how long they last. I've heard that they do get soft again if you don't eat them right away. I'm gonna experiment with that and see. What I have on here is just the olive oil spray in the air fryer with Tony Sashri's. And I put it in the air fryer on 400 for about 13 minutes. So more or less, we'll see. So my opinion is they did get soft if you leave them out for a little while. So best to use them up right away or just cook a few at a time for your salads. But they were good. I'm definitely going to try them again. I'll probably leave them cooking a little longer. The 13 minutes wasn't quite enough. I felt like there were still some that were soft. But this is definitely a keeper recipe. Okay, what I eat on a sick day. I've got a can of classic chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have it with some of my Stacy's pita chips and some of this tzatziki sauce and some hummus. So I'm gonna tear into these two. Got your famous Sprite, always good when you're not feeling well. So this will be my lunch and then i'm gonna rest the rest of the afternoon and i'll get my sandwich stuff ready and that's why i choose easy stuff when i'm not feeling well because i just need to rest so this is what we'll do for lunch So we got dip, we got pita chips, got a little bit of Sprite, got some chicken noodle soup. I didn't end up starting the salsa chicken last night. I just went to bed a little too early. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it this morning. It'll cook all day. Then I'll have meals for the week. So I've got my chicken here. It's actually a little cheaper than it had been for a while. Then I've got the Salsa Verde and Tony Sashri's because I got the mild one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all together, turn it on, and we'll have one meal down.
I forgot about this. It's been cooking about six hours. Let's see what Dutch chicken's looking like. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna break it up some so that it kind of absorbs all the juices. Mmm, -hmm. smells great. I didn't truly forget about it because I could smell it, but I forgot to check on it and cut it up. But I think that's okay because sometimes it's better to do that later. Oops. It breaks up a lot easier. Let's see. Maybe we'll leave some of the chunks big this time. Let's see how that works. Okay. All the big pieces out. All right, I'm gonna put that back on for a little while, and then I'll see how many servings we get. This is what I got out of the salsa chicken. So I've divided it up. I actually got five and a half servings. I ate one of them, which was about half of the serving with the last of the rice. So that way I have five for the next few work days. I'm trying not to have too many leftovers because I don't want to fill up my freezer with a bunch of stuff that I then have to go and eat. I prefer to eat fresh. <laughs> but this is what I got, so I'm going to put these away. They've cooled off a little bit. I'm going to put them in the fridge. All I had was white rice this time. I finished my brown rice. I'm going to try to finish off all the white rice that I have, and then I'll buy a mixture of brown and white. I like to have both. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away and one meal prep down. Quick meal pack. I'm going to pack my water bottle and just have water today. I've got a sandwich and instead of menez or avocado, I put tzatziki sauce on it. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be interesting. It'll add interesting flavor to it, I think. I'm having my avocado with my chicken salsa. And then right here, I've got my fish and veggies. This is what I've got for the day, and I've got a few calories left over, so if I want something else, I can have room for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up. I've had my eggs already on my protein shake, and I'm headed to work. So since I had calories left over, I'm gonna go ahead and pack these kettle cooked chips that I have. These are the air fried ones, so I'll have that if I want. And then I'm gonna pack this little Lily's chocolate peanut butter cup. I don't know if I'll eat it, but it'll be in there. I'm trying to finish those off. So yeah, I should have enough for the 10 hour shift. So hopefully it's a good day. I pack it with my silverware so it doesn't get smushed. <laughs>